Hey everybody, hope you are well now. Let's get this out in the open whilst I've still got you. I appreciate that some of you can't always make it through the whole video. So here it is. This Saturday, I will be doing a live stream on YouTube. Time to be confirmed. Um, I just thought we could talk about all things me, you know. It could be like a running Q&A. I was going to do it the night before my ultra, but I think I have too much on my mind then. So um, it's going to happen this Saturday. If you can make it, awesome. If you can't, I totally understand. You know, trying to pick a day that suits is always difficult, but I figured like a Saturday one might be quite cool. So that's my quick message for this video. Stay tuned for more information on what I'm doing right now. But otherwise, I thought I'd get out and open. Okay, so why am I out on this run? Well, I'd always planned to do a little run tonight. The problem is, I had quite an overwhelming day at work. So it's put me in a really busy headspace to come home with. I was also due to come home an hour earlier, but due to meetings that arose, uh, I ended up having to go, and so therefore I'm late. Anyway, I just, I guess once again, be transparent with you. What I like to do when I come in from work is share what is necessary to then make sure the evening is yours. So take today for example, I come to the door, my girlfriend, incredible, just wanted to have a chat about how my day was. I kind of shared what I need to share and I said to her, right, that's enough now. I'm going to go out for a run. When I come back, it's being left at the door. I'm leaving today out on this pavement right now. And then we can enjoy the evening together and we don't have to talk about work and all those things. Just building a work-life balance is really important, but also making sure you make time for the people around you because they do feel the impact of it if you've had a tough day. I'm just continuing to bed in those new shoes, making sure they feel perfect for race day. Bear in mind, I do always have the blue pair, which I'm running my whole training block in, and actually, if I feel that in the lead up to it, I feel more positive, more comfortable with those shoes, they'll be the ones that I wear. So, it's just coming out tonight, making sure everything feels smooth, all feels comfortable. Aside from this t-shirt, I'm in race kit. Obviously, that's not included, but uh, again, just making sure everything just feels exactly how it should. 40 miles is a long way, and uh, you know the slightest feeling of rubbing in a 5k is just going to be amplified over that 40 mile distance. The provisional ultra kit list is up on the website, so still provisional at this stage. Um, can't they find guys and girls, but uh, anyway, a couple of things to point point out. Um, no hat or gloves are necessary, which is fine. That's handy. They seem to have upped the amount of water. I'm pretty sure it was minimum of 500 liters, but now it's 500 milliliters. Uh, but now it's minimum of a liter. So I'll have my two bottles up front. And I am really toying with the idea of a handheld with some water. It's a two tailwinds and a handheld there. I'm just trying to decide. I have obviously trained with, with the three bottles, so that's absolutely fine. I'm just trying to make a decision and uh, that'll be based on what is at the aid stations as to whether I do or don't need to carry additional. The main objective for this Ultra for me is to keep this in tune, in check making sure I don't let the kind of the the enormity of the situation take over it's going to be long it's going to be tough you know I'm going to be out running for six seven eight hours definitely and it's just about baby steps one foot in front of the other relax into it you know if I can get comfortably to halfway then I can start just gently ticking off the miles halfway is a big moment isn't it in any race it just gives you the confidence that you've done half of it everything is feeling okay hopefully and that you're you're doing it you've started so you'll finish and uh you know halfway point is just around here actually or near enough so <laughs> it's gonna be pretty close to home at that stage but i just need to keep very very calm people will be overtaking me i'm gonna keep to my strategy 
and that is to run at a really careful pace really gentle really methodical you know you've got to treat this with some calculation really and uh, just not take it for granted what I'm asking my body to do be kind to myself I might need to walk at 10 miles that's okay it's not a problem I don't have anything to prove to anybody apart from just myself that personal will to achieve that goal of conquering something which I thought was uncomparable two years ago and just try to be the best I can be if that means I walk for three hours to complete the race then I will do that because I'm focusing on when I take the first foot in front of that start line all I'm caring about at that stage then is being safe and getting to putting one foot over the finish line that's what it's all about just being at one with yourself recognizing that there will be people who are faster there will be people who are slower there might be people who don't even turn up on the day there might be people with DNF but ultimately it's just about being involved in something greater than I could ever imagine and enjoying the experience amongst like-minded people crazy people wild people anyway that's me for today I feel like a weight has been lifted when I walk in the door I'm going to be a hundred percent focused on the evening ahead and uh, yeah this is what running does just gives you that space to free your mind and just reset we'll catch up with you soon guys and girls let's go